the castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello! It is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box! Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Huh? It's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever! <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No, 
Dinosaur? No! It's a thing! Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang! A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow! Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> You need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Ha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good look out, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> Now, the trick is, you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this! Ooh! It's good, it's good, it's a good throw! Here it comes, it's good, it's looking... Oh no! Someone catch it! Oh dear, the boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> 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 Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. <coughs> Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo-choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's 
a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the tree runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails, it can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> the zoo. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. 
That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting. To pounce! Ah! Ooh, butterflies! Mr. Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, -ho! lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday, and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy! Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And me. And me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Don't let the balloons fall to the ground. Keep them in the air. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, me, me. Okay, I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons. But they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> 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 We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble. That's 
that's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ow! Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! 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 <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! 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 Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. <coughs> My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madam Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up, who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy! My, oh, my, my, my daddy! My daddy! We need just one! Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. 
Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Nursery rhymes. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children? Today, we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh! Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, yes! <coughs> Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went. One. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <clears throat> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons and cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger? Little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. 
Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. OK. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <laughs> We have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill when he marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're only up, they up. They're neither up nor down. <laughs> <laughs> that was good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes.